Two synchronous servo motors controlled by a Raspberry Pi. But let's start at the beginning. For the last two weeks I did not do any Raspberry Pi video and the reason is I struggled with soldering. So these are the experiments I did with soldering and it was hard and it took a lot of time and finally I decided to buy these kind of pin cables and this speeded up my experiments rapidly. So let's take a look at the synchronous servos. For those who might know my code from the last um, servo projects, um, shall already know a bit about the functions I defined. Um, I, re I wrote this in PHP, but you can also implement it in any other language like C or Python. Um, at first, I uh, this introduce in the, this function my sleep. This does a rather accurate time sleep function. Now I have my pins. I uh, this time I'm not opening one file, but I put them into an array. And also my function position does not take a single value, but an array of values. And for each of these values, I'm doing this. Yeah, right one sleep the amount of time and write zero and after I set all these things I'm sleeping these 20 milliseconds. So with this method I can control hundreds of servos but you should yeah, um, limit yourself to about 10 servo motors. This should then you can throw away the sleep command when you have about 10 servos and then you still get a absolutely smooth servo experience. Um, yeah, I did a just just this uh, sign function and I'm putting, yeah, I'm, I'm writing both values to, uh, to the servo and this time I'm adding, uh, I'm changing it to minus, double, uh, minus x which will keep them, which will make them turn in opposite. <clears throat> so I can do whatever creepy things I want to do, <laughs> like this waving robot. Um, as I showed it in my 100 subscriber special, I uh, got lots more servos, so I really have the material to build a robot army. Um, some explanations about the pins. A servo cable uh, consists of three cables. The brown cable is for the ground pin, the red cable is for the 5 volt power supply and the yellow cable is for signal. And what I'm doing is to, yeah, to attach ground to the ground, like this black cable. I'm doing 5 volt power supply to Raspberry Pi's 5 volt power supply and I'm doing the signal cable to a GPIO pin that I set to an output pin like you see in this script I'm using uh, 23 and 24 GPIO pins and I'm yeah writing out into the direction Launix Vorsprung durch Software